We continue to follow breaking news from across the pond, and it's good news. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are the proud parents of a new baby boy. This is exactly the assignment you want to be on. Our royal correspondent, Max Foster, is with us, and our royal commentator, Victoria Arbiter, joins us now. Max, let's begin with you. What more do we know about this sweet baby boy? He was more than seven pounds. He's healthy, we're told, and his father, as you'll hear from this little soundbite he gave us, is pretty elated. It was amazing, absolutely incredible. And as I said, I'm so incredibly proud of my wife. Um, and as every father and parent would ever say, you know, your, your baby is absolutely amazing. But this little thing is, is, is absolutely to die for. So I'm just over the moon. Uh, they're keeping the location of the birth private. All the speculation is that they wanted a home birth here just down the road in Frogmore Cottage where they live in Windsor. Uh, it could have been in hospital. They're not confirming that. They're trying to tread this line about between, you know, giving the public the information that they're desperate for and all the details and having a private occasion. Uh, so that was interesting that they're not revealing that, but certainly very happy and all seems to have gone as planned, guys. Victoria, so... You already have an American duchess. This baby will have dual nationality based on his mother being an American. So an American prince, possibly, depending on how the queen comes down on that. But how big a deal is that? And how is that being received in the UK? Uh, well, I... I think people are equally excited on both sides of the pond. Meghan has really ignited a passion for the royal family. Uh, people have long admired the Queen, but there was a huge love affair with Diana. And by extension, people over here have always been very fond of Harry. They viewed his antics in Las Vegas very differently to perhaps how the Q Queen viewed those. Uh, um, so I think people are delighted on both sides of the pond. And as Max was saying, it, we're sort of seeing an extension of Harry's happiness here. This feels like the happy ending he's longed for. He's made no secret of his desire for a family. So today is a very exciting day, as it would be for any mm. new parent. Mm. You, know, you know, Max, just looking at the smile on his face when he came out and made that rather surprise announcement of everything, it's like he couldn't contain his joy. And, of course, he's a father for the first time, and he praised his wife as being so proud of her. Um, it looks like this was... Looks like this was a home birth. I mean, they're doing so many things mm. their way, which is refreshing. Mm. It is, and there's no expectation of them necessarily, because it's not quite senior enough in the royal family to do things in a certain way. So they have been able to choose to do things differently. So having a home birth actually was a tradition before Diana's generation came along anyway. So you could argue they're reverting back to tradition on that. Uh, to Victoria's point that this is, you know, a happy ending, I think it really is. I mean, uh, the enduring image of Prince Harry is walking behind his mother's coffin. Mm. People, you know, the British people, I think people around the world, World wanted a happy ending to that story that in part came here at St George's Chapel when he married uh, uh, Meghan Markle and he found his Duchess uh, but also he's he's very connected with children whenever you go to public events he always kneels down goes to the children first he desperately wanted children and he's now got a little baby boy a complete family unit I think that's gonna be very endearing to the British public and there's a huge amount of goodwill for him so a big moment waiting mm. for the pictures, expecting them, guys, on Wednesday, I think, if all goes to plan. You know, Victoria, of course, Diana was, was a different kind of princess, and that was part of her appeal, right, to, you know, back to the marriage and, and through the years. And, and, and uh, Meghan Markle, a different kind of prince, duchess, uh, you know, her, her own person, her own woman, right? Uh, and and it's, uh, it's, it seems like you could draw a line between the two. You could. I think that's why Meghan's been so widely applauded. She's done what works for her. And yet she's done so very carefully because she hasn't actually broken any traditions and protocols. There's been a lot of talk since the marriage that she's she's done things differently. She's shaking up the monarchy. She really isn't. When she's worn a one-shoulder dress, you can Google one-shoulder dresses and there's the Queen and Margaret, Diana. I think it's just that she's drawn so much attention to the royal family. Yes, she's new in terms of the fact that she's American. American. She happens to be biracial. She has been married before. But these are all things that reflect modern society. And I think that's what makes her so exciting to watch, is that the royal family really has been catapulted into the 21st century. Some would say long overdue. But now I think we have a little baby that has joined the family that millions around the Commonwealth can identify mm. with. And that's what helps maintain the relevance of the royal family. Mm. It's a beautiful thing. I love reporting great news like this. Thank you so much, Max Foster, for being there, and Victoria for your expertise. Uh, we appreciate it.